This is the Samsung Galaxy A04 disassembly. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified once I upload a new video. And if you need any tools, there are links in the description. To start off, the SIM tray needs to be removed. Here's a better look at that. Next, we need to place a plastic pry tool in between the back housing and the frame of the screen and run along the edges to pop off the catches. Here's a closer look at the plastic back housing. There are some antenna flex cables on the top and bottom border. There's also some graphite film to help transfer heat. There are 17 Phillips screws which need to be removed. The glass camera lens covers can be replaced by applying heat and prying them off, so you don't have to disassemble the phone to replace those. The battery cable can now be disconnected, followed by the rest of the cables. Here's a better look at the 5 megapixel front facing camera. Located on the main board, there's a 50 megapixel main camera and a 2 megapixel depth camera. None of the cameras have OIS or optical image stabilization. Also, the camera connectors can be disconnected by just popping them off. The LED flash is located here and a secondary microphone is located on the top of the board. There's also some copper tape over the front shields to help transfer heat. The SIM card and memory card reader is located on the back, as well as more copper tape on the back shields. Once the copper tape is peeled back, we can see thermal paste on top of the RAM and processor. So this flex cable connects both the screen and the subboard to the main board. So if you needed to replace the screen, you'd have to remove the back housing, the screws on the top and bottom covers and remove those covers, and then you'd have to disconnect these flex cables as well as this one on the subboard, at which point you'll be able to heat up the front of the phone where the screen is to lose some of the adhesive underneath, pry your old screen off, apply new adhesive, reapply the new screen making sure we run the flex cables back to the opening in the mid frame, and reassemble the phone. The primary microphone is located in between the headphone jack and the charger port. There's also a liquid damage indicator sticker which is that white sticker over there. Here's a look at the other side. There are no pull tabs provided to help us pry the battery off, so we'll need to use some isopropyl alcohol and apply it to the sides of the battery and let it sit for about 30 seconds to a minute so it eats away at the adhesive underneath to making it easier to pry it off. Here's a better look at the 5000 mAh battery. The vibrator motor is located on the bottom corner and it's held in place with some adhesive and the same goes for the speaker assembly on the bottom. The flex cable for the volume keys and power button is located on the side and if you need to replace that, you could just peel it off. The flex cable for the proximity sensor is routed through an opening in the mid frame. To replace that, it would require prying the screen off from the frame. And the top earpiece speaker is located here, and that's also held on with some adhesive. There's also another liquid damage indicator sticker located here on the frame. For the repairability score on this phone, I give it a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to put the phone back together. Once everything's back in place, flip over the phone, power it on, and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.